See, this year, my plan for the NFL draft was to only do updates on the Ravens, especially with everything that the Ravens done had going on in the past 24 hours. It's been very, very crazy. Um, but the Steelers, the Ste this was literally the one receiver that I asked for. This is literally the one receiver that I wanted Ravens to get because he just got that dog in him. And I, I wanted the Ravens to get him way before the whole Hollywood thing even went down because I wanted just to add him to the offense to really try to help take the offense over the top. This dude is nasty. This dude got attitude. This dude just brings this like fierceness to your team. And I just really wanted the Ravens to get. And then another thing on top of that, he is a fighter. The guy, what, got hurt in the spring? And he could have been like, all right, you know what? I'm done. Game over. Ah, uh, that's my season. It's a wrap. And nobody would have second-guessed him. Nobody would have questioned him. Everybody would have been, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. He got hurt in the spring. He's done season-ending injury. But he said, nope. No, I, I ain't going out like that. Oh, no, I'm coming back. Y'all y'all going to see me soon. And he, he came back. And he came back and contributed. He didn't just come back and be a cheerleader on the side. No, he came back and like actually contributed. So why? who wouldn't want that on their squad? And me being a Ravens fan, I was like, man, all right. A lot of people writing him off. They saying he got character issues and all this and all that. So he ain't going to go in the first round. I'm thinking, okay, Ravens at 45. I'm thinking, oh, that's a little risky, especially when there was a run on receivers early on in the draft. Shout out to Drake. Drake winning his $100,000 on Drake London when he picked him to be the first receiver taken. And once Drake London was taken, that's when everybody started, oh, give me the receiver, give me that receiver, give me that receiver. But I just, um, I was thinking, all right, mm, is he going to be in the first round? Okay, even if he don't get in the first round, all right, cool. Second round, I'm like, oh, Ravens sitting at 45. They may have to trade up to get him. Because, I don't know, what, what's the receivers? You know how it goes. Once people start picking receivers, somebody else pick a receiver, somebody else pick a receiver, and they can start flying off quick. But then at 45 came around, I'm like, okay. he Wow, th this the receiver that I wanted two years in a row, because last year I wanted Rashad Bateman, got him, amazing. And then this year I wanted George Perry. I'm like, oh, it's happening. This is going down. We're sitting at 45. We're we, we going to get him. Especially since we just, the, la the last move that we made, it was trading away Hollywood. That was the last thing we did at receiver. We traded away our number one receiver last year. I'm thinking, okay, 45. Oh, yeah, we about to get him. We about to get him. No, we got David Ajabo. Okay, he's coming off Achilles injury. Okay, hopefully he recovers 100% from that. We'll see how it goes. But then I'm thinking, okay, okay, they didn't take pickings. Okay, well, you got a lot of fourth round picks. You could package some of those up, trade back up in the second round and... But no, the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Pittsburgh Steelers decided they wanted to be the Pittsburgh Steelers and take a receiver. And see, this is the thing, is that with Pittsburgh Steelers, you know, like, he's going to be fantastic. You just know it. You, you know he is going to be developed at an in an amazing way, at an amazing rate. And you know he is going to be a great player for Pittsburgh. Because, again, that is something, that's what they do. They develop receivers left and right with the Steelers. And now you got one that high-quality receiver drafted in the second round. They just got to, we'll see what happens with the quarterback that they drafted. What, uh, Pickett? 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 We'll see what happens with him. But this is probably going to be uh, Mitch Trubisky receiver. But, man. That is, <laughs> that's annoying. Oh, hold up. They got Pickett and Pickens. I, I, just, I just got that. Oh, okay, okay. Nice little wordplay with the names and whatnot, but I don't like it because I, I wanted him to be a Raven. But I will certainly be able to get reminded of that at least twice a year since the Ravens going to get to see him. And he'll have, what, Chase Claypool over there, Deontay Johns. They'll have uh, Miles Boykin who the Ravens released, and the Steelers picked him up. We'll see what happens with him. Because the Steelers, again, these Steelers, they know what to do with receivers, man. They know what to do with some receivers. But, um, yeah, man. So, that's that. The, 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 the one receiver that I wanted, just the, the, the one receiver that I wanted, and 
That's that. He's gone now. Okay. Vent session over. Congrats, Steelers. Um, congrats to George Pickens. Uh, wish he could have been taken just a couple spots earlier by a different AFC North team, but it is what it is. Wish you well, my friend. We out.